Uh, easy demo learning simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, geometrical construction. And for this particular lesson, we're going to cover majorly uh, construction of a perpendicular line, how we draw perpendicular lines. Generally, that is what is within the framework of this lesson. So we have majorly the procedures that are used to construct perpendicular lines, either perpendicular line from a point or just maybe constructing a perpendicular bisect of a line and so on and so forth. And of course, at the end of this lesson, we'll be having some questions in the form of assignments just to help you practice and basically to help you gauge on your understanding of the concept as we are going to discuss during this lesson. So we want to start by uh, looking at construction of uh, a perpendicular line. You know, how do you construct a line that is perpendicular to another line? So the, the procedure is thus uh, highlighted on the screen. So one, you must have two points. Uh, previously, we looked at how you can construct a line and how you are able to identify the, the two points or how you are able to mark the two points. So we want to see how now we can use the two points that we had highlighted in the previous case to help with construction of a perpendicular line or a line that is perpendicular to a given, a given line. So uh, what you do is that you are going to so you're going to use both points. The, the other time we were just looking at construction of a line and we realized that first of all you mark a point A and then use this point and a convenient radius you make an arc on the other side and you mark it point B. Now we are looking at a case whereby now you have both points. You see now you have a line already drawn. We have a line, let's say this. This is A and this is B. So we have uh, either of the points as centers, like maybe we start with point A as the center and then a radius. The other time I explained what a radius is, is within the context of geometry. A radius is the distance between the tip of your pencil and the sharp end of the pair of compasses, you know. So you draw an arc, so using this as the center, draw an arc. Then now do not adjust the, the radius, shift the center from A to B, draw another arc. Now, the arcs, as you draw the arcs, you can, uh, you are supposed to draw arcs on both sides, like using A as the center, you, 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 you draw an arc up there and another mm -hmm. arc down here. They now shifting the center from A to B, draw an arc to cut the first arc up there and an arc down here to cut the first one. Now you label these points P and Q. See, So if we join these two points, P and Q, we shall have drawn a perpendicular line. See, we shall have drawn a line there. So we just join the two points. We shall have drawn a perpendicular. So please take note of the procedure with A and B as center. So starting with A, Draw an arc up there and another arc down here. Remember, we're using pair of compasses. Then shifting to point B, draw an arc here and another arc there. So the two arcs are cutting or are intersecting the first arc that you had drawn. So where there is a point of intersection up here, you call it P. Where there is a point of intersection down here, you call it Q. So you join uh, P to Q, and that line that you have drawn is the perpendicular. Actually, it's a perpendicular bisector of, of, of this line. So that is what you can see. So we have this as the center, draw this arc and draw this arc. Shifting this, don't adjust the, the pair of compasses. An arc there and an arc here, then you join and you can see now this line is perpendicular to this. So we want to see how you can uh, construct Constructing a perpendicular, dropping a perpendicular from a point. So dropping a perpendicular, a perpendicular line from a point, from a point, 
from a point to to a line you know how do you drop a perpendicular line from a given point to a given line that's what this is all about so you use maybe 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 from a point p you know so using p as the center in any convenient radius draw arcs to intersect the line at points a b so let's say i have this point here i have that line a and b maybe let me change the color So I have this line A and B and maybe I want to drop a perpendicular from point P. So what you do is that you try and extend the pair of compasses so that the distance between the tip of your pencil and the, and the sharp end of the pair of compasses that should be longer than, you know, should be longer compared to this distance of the point from the line, you know. So use P as the center and a convenient radius. When I talk about convenient radius, in this case, I mean that length, the distance between the tip of the pencil and the sharp end of the, of the pair of compasses should be longer than the distance of the point from the line. So you extend it a bit. So that when you draw an arc, it will be this way. You see? So that arc is cutting the line at points A and point B. You see? Now, using point A as the center, so using A as the center, make an arc down here. Again, using B as the center, make another arc to cut the first arc. Do not change the red eye, and then now you join P. So let's say the point of intersection of the two arcs is uh, maybe X, yeah, or let's call it Q. So you join P to Q down here. And that's how you drop a perpendicular from a given point to a given line. Just as simple as that. It's very, 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 very easy, especially if you follow that particular procedure. So take note. So constructing a perpendicular line from a point. You see. So the point is up here, point P. So you draw an arc that way, then it crosses, the arc crosses the lines or the line at point A and point, point B. Then now using A as the center, you make an arc down here, B as the center, you make another arc to cut that, you call this one point Q. Then now you join point P, you see, you join point P to huh? this one here. So that is basically how we are able to construct a perpendicular line from a given point to a given line. So you can also construct a perpendicular line using a set square. The perpendicular line that we have drawn. So place a ruler along the, the line. Then place one of the edges of the set square which uh, form a right angle along the, the ruler. Slide the set square along the ruler until... So as you slide the set square, the set square is supposed to be slid towards the, the point. Remember, we are, we, are, we are drawing a perpendicular from a point. So slide the set square along the ruler towards the, the point P. On reaching P, you hold the set square firmly on the surface and then draw a line through P. To meet the to meet the line you know yes so this 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 set square is supposed to be slid in this particular direction you slide it towards this particular direction until this edge of the set square is touching this point here you see so it's you're sliding it that way remember this is the line then now after that you simply draw a line through the point you hold it firmly and then you draw the line through the point you shall have drawn a perpendicular from the point so that is using the set square so there are instances when you can request you to use a set square to draw a perpendicular line to a given line or to drop a perpendicular from a given point to a line either way you will still be able to use 
the set square. Remember what you have said is that the ruler is placed, uh, the one edge of the ruler is placed on the on the line, and then you slide the set square towards the point through which you want to draw the perpendicular line. And then on reaching that point, you hold the set square firmly on the surface, and then you draw a line that is passing through the given point towards the line. So that is all. We have a few questions to help you practice on what you've, what, what, what we've discussed through this lesson. You can always attempt when, when that can be soonest possible. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye.